What is up, everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday here with me, Eli. Okay, so uh, before I start this video, I just want to say that one, I am uh, getting sick or am sick, and then two, I'm super tired because I'm in the middle of finals, um, so I'm going to make this a little bit brief, but this week's topic is um, being trans and being a person of color, being a trans person of color, um, and I wanted to talk about, I guess the first thing I thought of when I thought of what to talk about for this topic was uh, things that are happening in the media right now and uh, visibility. So being a person of color and trans is a unique thing because you have the like double intersection of race and um, being trans, <laughs> being transgender, but um, a lot of things work against you privilege-wise or oppression-wise, I guess. Um, a lot of visibility is not it's starting to be out there, you know, but it's not there. Like, trans women of color, I think, are, like, the most discriminated against, and yet they're the ones who kind of started everything, movement-wise, like, back in Stonewall, back in America, when America first started bringing up all the race, or, not race, sorry, um, all the, like, gender and sexuality things. It was, like, black trans women were at the forefront of everything, and then they immediately got erased. And so I think it's a pretty huge issue, um, especially when, like, something that recently happened is Caitlyn Jenner came out, which is awesome, and very proud of her, but it the, like, mass celebration uh, and centralization of, like, cis-normative white beauty standards was very evident in the discourse that was brought up, and it's a bummer because there's all of these, like, trans people of color or not as um, people who don't conform to gender roles who exist and need visibility too, but they get none of it. And so uh, I think it's really important for people of color to kind of find places where they have voices to be uplifted and to be seen. Janet Mock is one of my favorite trans activists. She's super rad. Um, Laverne Cox is rad too. But as far as um, things to do if you are a trans person of color and feeling kind of down or anything or feeling discrimination, um, when I feel like I'm getting like overwhelmed because I'm like, oh, this person is being racist and homophobic and transphobic. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's too much. Um, I kind of just focus on the positives, you know, know that, oh, I don't want to say the same thing that I said in my intersections video. I gave advice there and it kind of like double applies here, but just like, I don't know, know that you're on your path and you're doing you and that like being a person of color is nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, it is a wonderful thing, and there are spaces, even if they're hard to find, you're not alone. And um, know that a lot of people who are in the same culture as you have started a bunch of stuff and are doing great things, and you can hopefully be one of them and make it better for those to come. Um, okay. My head's about to explode with my sinuses, so I'm going to go, but I hope you are all having a wonderful time, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Hey, I forgot to mention also, uh, today is my three months on tea, so go check out my personal channel, link below, um, for my uh, three months on tea video. I'll put it up probably in this the afternoon. Thanks.